time for us to enter Wakanda. Let's go. Another big interview on the 947 Breakfast Club. This is big. It's now or never. All right, so in studio, the royalty from Wakanda, Dr. John Khan is joining us, as well as Mom Connie Chume. Welcome to the 947 Breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much for having us. This, Dr. Kani, do you not feel like you, you have now been elevated to the spokesperson for Africa? <laughs> I've been watching all these interviews and I'm following you two around and every time you guys have to speak on behalf of Africa. It's exactly what my mom used to in the 70s. Don't go to that meeting. You'll come back the chairman. <laughs> <laughs> she knew, she, she knew, knew, right? It's it's been a roller coaster ride. Mm. It's it's incredible that uh, Marvel, a comic book blockbuster thing, could produce a movie, a Black Panther, set in Wakanda, and it becomes such a moment, such an iconic. It hasn't even yeah. played right? already. The excitement is unbelievable about this movie. Mam Kony, uh, for me, and you know, Doctor John Kani is, is hitting it spot on. It hasn't even played. And already you can feel the euphoria in the country. Uh, you know, are you feeling that love every time you're stepping out into the streets? I feel that love all the time. I think the excitement comes from the fact that uh, Black Panther, you know, for a change, it has portrayed Africa in a very positive manner. Mm. And women have like big yes. parts there. So it has really empowered us as a, as a continent yeah. to show what Africa is all about. Wakanda is techno technologically informed, is advanced. Mm. So mm. something that we normally don't see in mm. all these movies. Mm. I, I, when I walked out the movie, we went as a team to watch it last week. And the first thing I said to the team is, I love the way women are depicted in this movie. You know, they're not these damsels in distress, but at the same time, they're not like, you know, aggro and butch and angry. It's just an effortless what African women have always been, right? Like an effortless power about them. When did you get the call, Mom Connie, that says that you're going to be part of Black Panther? Yo, you know what? I did get the call. I don't recall the date, uh -huh. but I did get the call. That's uh -huh. why I'm here. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. When I got the call, I was thinking of the African-American black activist, Black Panther. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> And I got scared, you know, I was happy that I'm cast, <laughs> but I was worried that I am, why, why am I in this movie where I'm going to portray African Americans in their political thing? Yeah. Because I know how poly, how sensitive politics yeah. can be. Yeah. I realized much, much later the kind of Black Panther that uh, I was cast in. So mm. when I was telling the team, uh, Dr. Kani, about... How call me Dada? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dada? Yeah, good. <laughs> this is very true. He is my dad, guys. So, so Dada, when I was I, I was telling the team, I'm like, oh my word, you know, um, uh, Kani's in, in, in the movie. They're like, but Anele, you late. He was already in a Marvel movie, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did uh, Captain America Civil War. Oh, right? they... Yeah, that's when I first introduced uh, King T'Chaka. Okie dokie. So it was during that movie yeah. when we were shooting. And the conversation started. The conversation started. started. And when I finished and I said, guys, I'll see you sometime. And Chadwick uh, came over and says, no, sir. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs> wow. I didn't know about the, in planning there was the Black Panther. I said, when I left the set in Atlanta, uh. I said, see you sometime, guys. And mm. Chadwick says, no, sir. See you soon. <laughs> what I loved as well is in, uh, and I'm not going to give the movie away, but Atan was in your son, mm -hmm. and he looks so much like Black Panther. Yes, like because uh, when when he, when he walks into the scene, I'm like, is that Atan or is it that thing or is it Black Panther? When did you w reel him in and and get him a role in the movie? It had nothing to do with me. Really, I didn't even know. At a boy, absolutely. There See, we go. What Atandwa does, he introduces himself as Atandwa. He doesn't ah, put gun because he says it does two things. It makes him get the job or not get the job. True. Yeah. <laughs> True. So he's a tando. And he's not missing out on talent. Do you Nothing. know what I'm saying? So what Munin did was to send a picture of a couple of faces oh. that they could use as to play King T'Chaka younger. Yes. And the casting director said, he does look like John Gunn. That's one we will use 
And no. then they said, oh my God, it is his son, actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got to like it. Okay, let's talk about the language because obviously yeah. we're excited the fact that Tosa is there. Mm. Uh, when did we introduce that Tosa is going to be the language of Wakanda? It was in uh, Captain America Civil War. Ah. We are shooting the scene where I'm addressing the United Nations in Vienna. Mm. Uh, Chris Everett has just left. I'm standing with uh, jo um, Scarlett Johansson mm -hmm. and Chadwick Ooh, Listen Brogner. to that, eh? No, no, name <laughs> dropping, eh? <yeah. laughs> so, at the end, of this scene they leave uh. so i'm now left with him uh. so the line is uh, you um i miss you my son i haven't seen you for a very long time so i said sorry to the director why am i speaking english to my son uh. we're both from wakanda uh. yes and then the language advisor and accent coach says what would you say I said, I said, the Kumbula Yanu Mabil and Wukabele And everyone is like, yeah! <laughs> and the next thing, we began to work with Chadwick. And apparently, he had done a movie in Cape Town where, you know, some of the guys in the crew gave him a Kosa name, Mkolisi. Okay. So he said, I do have an African name, Mkolisi. Mkolisi. Do you remember Mkolisi is my eldest son? Yes. Oh, so the eldest son is Mkolis. You see, my firstborn is Mkolis. So I said, my son's got the same name with you. At that time, there was no talk about. So then I heard later that Marvel has adopted Isikosa as the official language mm. of Wakanda. Then the correspondence started. Ryan Kugler, mm. the producers, always contacting me. I was always on the phone in the evening. Mm. Oh, how, would, how would you say this? How would you say this? Yeah. Wow. They, they, I couldn't teach them a full easy course, you know. But everybody wanted a line. Yes. So when we were shooting in uh, the Black Panther, I was on set as the language and culture consultant. Did you get paid extra? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Them dollars, man. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so listen, uh, when we come back, I want to talk about your outfits, Mount okay. Connie, because yo, like every time you got on screen, I was like, there we go. The 947 Breakfast Club. We've written Costa phrases for them ne? they are gonna say them to you guys okay and then you guys must oh try. you've already written them i've already yeah. written okay. for them okay. so they've been practicing yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you a to them as well so they can actually pronounce it properly because yes, we, we're gonna be probably. butchering it no oh, okay. no 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 look the point is for them to figure out what you guys are oh, saying okay, cool. okay. <laughs> yes because they in wakanda could see the lessons were happening daily yes. <laughs> how hard was it to teach the american actors Mm. It, it was exciting. Everybody wanted something to say, uh, you know. And, and uh, Forrest Whitaker would say, "Say, can you help me with that one thing?" <laughs> so he said, "All right, you are saying I won for it." Just no, I need it with a click. I said, "Not everything not I say everything is going to have a click." Gonna have a click at all. <laughs> Everybody wanted, "Give me something, Clicks. give me something." When I left set, Atanda took over. Mm. In fact, yeah. he stayed lo about another Longer. three weeks after to finishing make sure that everyone... to be there. Everybody yeah. know, and they would phone me. Could you say this on the phone? S pronounce it, you know. And they would ask, of course, whether traditionally would this be possible. Uh, Ryan uh, Kugler really wanted to be accurate and not offend yes. the African culture yeah. by yes. sort of commercializing it. They would ask a question: Would it be acceptable? It yeah, would happen. That's good thing. Mm. Yeah, that's good because then you find that you are yes. in a. You're doing a movie you're like guys. This would never happen in our no, culture. No, it would and, never but happen. because now you're mm. being paid and you are, you are, you know, you're cast. You must keep quiet. Maybe that's why most of the uh, films which they did oh, on Africa Africa didn't succeed because they just did what they're they wanted to do. They're not inclusive. Mm. They're not inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because I, I wouldn't do the Tarzan language. And then subtitles. Ninja, how are you? <laughs> After the most, the subtitle says, Come on. No wonder we're tired. Tired now. I'm too old for that. Check it out. The 947 Breakfast Club. Why do you look like you've hit a blank? No, I have hit a blank. Now. Okay. I've, okay. Here's, here's what must happen. On the on the WhatsApp line, 084 00 947 we want you in your best um, movie voice self, yeah. okay, to deliver this line. Welcome to Wakanda. <laughs> oh eight four double zero double zero nine four seven. That line could get you a Black Panther hamper. It's all thanks to nine four seven as well as Marvel. Mom Connie, the outfits. Okay, I'm trying so hard here not to give away the movie, but there is uh, one way. There's water and there's a lot of sure. you and you and they show you looking like a regal African queen. I mean, did you get a say in that? It it, it looked like you were quite in inclusive. 
No, I didn't have a say in that. You yeah. know, they had a very, very good uh, costume designer, mm. Ruth Carter, who did her research so much. You know, they came to Africa, to all parts of Africa, and she decided that the mining elder, which is the role that I was playing, yes. will be dressed in that way. So it's, it was a mixture of all African cultures. But uh, my hairstyle uh, is, is, is um, influenced by the himba uh -huh. in Nam Namibia. Yes. So, yeah, I was very happy with how I looked. You know, I would stand there and for the whole day, seven to seven, and mm. really feel like a queen. Yeah. You know, and, and the, the influence of the set, mm. you know, the waterfalls, all that, mm. it was so, so unbelievable. It just took you into the proper space. You know, when South Africans go into international productions like this, you know, there's always that feeling that it's the Americans first and then the South Africans and everyone else, you're second tier. F for me, it felt like people were gravitating towards you guys. They wanted to rub off. They wanted the African of you to rub off on them. Is, is that what was going on? That's, that's what made us even feel more, you know, <laughs> excited about it because it was about Africa. Wakanda mm. is Africa. And we had more than like, what, six Africans on set, yeah. both Danai and other people that are not mentioned, but we had people from um, Uganda, yeah. uh, Ivory Coast, South Africa, three of us, yeah. the Ghanis and myself. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a big, big uh, um, achievement really? for, for the continent and for South Africa. And, and that, was, that was our experience. I mean, walking into Black Panther to watch it, yeah. we were thinking, look, I mean, it's always like this. American Hollywood movies, you know, there's going to be South African actors, but they're going to be like on the side. We're going to see them walk past in the back mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. one line, and it wasn't like that at all. Uh, well, of course, the... the What's fantastic is that you walk on set and the director stops and then you get introduced who you are. Mm. And everybody comes for a set. I studied you at Yale. <gasps> and somebody's, oh my God, oh my God. I remember when I was young, we went to Broadway to see you and Winston and Shona. Uh -huh. Winston Shona. <laughs> when I saw Cesar Banza is dead, I knew this is the meaning of theater. And lots of people, I saw you mm. in this. You feel like there mm. is great respect yes. for African artists. Mm. And in this movie, Ryan Coogler, brought the Africans this side of the Atlantic to work with the Africans the other side of the Atlantic. Yeah. So it was a purely African movie. Yeah. And he wanted to be as authentic as possible to create this blockbuster. But at the same time, it's commercial. It has to make money. Yeah, it has to make, make money. money. It's, it, and that's the thing for me. When we're done watching, I was like, that's a blockbuster. That That is a movie that's going... I mean, in the UK... Yeah, uh, 24 million pounds made this past weekend. So well done, guys. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. Massive. It broke the records of advanced booking better than Star Trek Next Generation. Advanced booking before we even head to Hollywood. We haven't even seen it. We haven't, we haven't even, even seen, seen it. it. And, and the, the sisterhood and the brotherhood on set. Yeah. You oh. know, you see those names and you are kind of like, Ish, I wonder how is it going to be like working with these people. Well, and, and, and you get oh. there, you, you, you just feel comfortable. Same time. You talk together, you eat together, you walk together. There isn't that star yeah. syndrome, that diva thing. Yeah. And you're just working with ordinary brothers and sisters who are all professionals. I, I mean, love Angela Hagman said, my husband, we're not even in one scene together. <laughs> but on set, we were like hand in hand, like I'm with my husband. I'm with my husband. We are not even in one scene <laughs> together. Wow. All right, let's play a game. So obviously, uh, Mom Kony and uh, Mr. Kani, Dr. Kani were the ones. Da -da. Uh, da -da. But people don't know that, Daddy. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so uh, on set, they were the ones teaching Kosa, okay? Yes. Mm. Atanda even stayed on. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, to make sure that he teaches Kosa so that we can keep the dignity of the language, language as it's going to be in this movie. So, Alex and Frankie, mm. oh, no. I've written down some Kosa uh, phrases for you guys. Yeah. Uh, you're going to say them to Mam Kony Chume. Okay. As well as Dada. Yeah. And then they need to figure out what you guys are trying to say. Mm. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, my friend. Who's going first? <laughs> Mind you, they're skilled in people butchering the language. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Ching, well, chung, no, cha. No. All right. Okay, you go first. No, you can go first. It's fine. I won. Frankie. Okay. So how are we going? Are we going line by line? Yeah, just hit one line and then... Okay, thank you. Masembeni siuba beta. All right, I'll take it out. Okay, wait. Then the... Uh, what, say it Masembeni again, Masembeni siuba beta. Yeah. Yes. Mm. What does that mean? Let's go and hit them. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> but what, uh, there, was a, there was a slight freak out on my side that Masembeni... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
I thought, my God. Yeah, that's, that's a what choose. What is he going to come out saying? Yeah. That's a swear word. That's a swear word. So make sure the next time you say it, Frank, it's my son. My son. My son. My son. My son. Oh, my son. Yeah. My son. You know what I'm saying? I thought, whoops. Luckily, luckily, Frankie went first because I was going to say, Sim. My son. It could have been awkward. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ngabila nyana. Inda kudabile kudala. Hey! I probably butchered that completely. Maybe a little bit slower. Okay, okay. try it again. Okay. Uh, Nko bi. No, no, no. Nga. Oh, it's nga. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nko bile nyana. Tell me, Kila. Ini kudu. No, I. It's my line. Nko nyana. It's my. Nko bile nyana. Nyana. Dibu kibele kudala. Yeah, I still hey, yours is more difficult. I know. Yours is more difficult. <laughs> okay, wait. Go for the last. For the go for the next line. Okay. Sibe fikile ikaya abantu. Sibe fikile ikaya abantu. That was great. 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 That, that, was great. Yeah. that means yeah. that means uh, they've arrived. They've arrived. Yeah. Abantu ikaya. Well, I got it right. So damn straight, I've arrived. Right? <laughs> Okay, so listen, four hampers that need to be given away uh, for Black Panther, the biggest movie to come out this year. Welcome to Wakanda. Uh, can, can you please do it, Dad? Welcome to Wakanda. <laughs> I, I remember talking to the, the director, Ryan. I said, where is Wakanda? He says, northeast of Nigeria, somewhere there. I said, Ryan, that's Boko Haram neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> northeast Nigeria. We're not said, going in no, there. No, 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 no. <laughs> not in Nigeria. Outside. <laughs> We're not going in there. All right. 084-00-00-947. Get involved. Check it out. The 947 Breakfast Club. Wakanda, Wakanda forever! The, the fascinating thing was you step onto the red carpet and you've got these hundreds of young kids, the millennials said, John Kane, John Kane. I thought, this can't be for me, I'm too old for this <laughs> nonsense. And you realize that there was such an excitement about the movie yeah. in Hollywood. Uh, there's I an mean, excitement the, everybody everywhere. There. I got pictures with Snoop Dogg, with yeah, Aisha. I do too. Like yeah. Yeah. Are you guys yeah. officially cool to your grandkids now and your, and your, and your oh, children? Oh, yeah. Like, are you like that person? Oh, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not old. I'm as young as my my grandchildren. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come that's on. a good thing about it. You know, when you have young, uh, like my last born child, Uno Tando, she's 23. She's a rapper, she's an actress, so you, you know I'm with it. <laughs> you, you're about to feature on a song. Okay? Yeah, man. <laughs> look, look at our generation, you look at the movie, you get a hero. Yeah. A comic book hero. Imagine what that means to you as a black child somewhere in Africa. Mm. It's not Superman, it's not, bla it's not uh, 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 what? Batman. 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 It's Spider not Spider-Man. A hero it's that not looks like you. For the first time, he removes the mask. You think, he looks like me. me. Yeah. I can be a hero too. And this is why Africa is going to celebrate this movie. Anela, there's a big movement right now started by Frederick Joseph in America. Yeah. They are raising money yes. for disadvantaged children mostly mm. to go and see the movie so that they see role models there people who are heroes people that are winners yeah and i think we have been approached yes. both of us to, to do it here ne? to send our videos just to encourage them i'm doing one for las vegas mm. uh. and i thought why can't we do this here at home mm. when yesterday morning when i woke up after i did that video i was like i'm doing this video for las vegas why am i not doing it here at home mm. so in my heart i've got that thing who can Come in, Brajon, yes. so that we also do it for our own kids. So we come get and cinemas, see, yes, for come and children see who wouldn't heroes. be able to afford to watch yes, it. Absolutely, yes. oh, even in England already, yeah. I've done a couple there. They are also organizing children from the lower sort of income areas yeah. to see the movie. It's it's such an uh, sort of a moment it's become a movement yeah. that we should yeah. do this all right okay mm. uh, four hampers need to be given away please can you put your headphones on because you need to judge uh who says welcome to wakanda the best uh we'll pick four of them right you guys ready we are rolling. welcome to wakanda <laughs> welcome to Wakanda. 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 Welcome to 
Wakanda, da, da, da. <laughs> I like the last one. Sound Come effects. on. Am I the only one that it, it almost sounded like welcome to Ngandla? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was one that was touch and go then. Eh? Yeah, Wakanda. Okay, there we go. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda. All right, I think. Uh, who are you thinking? All of them. Do you want to give all of them a hamper? Yes. We don't have them. Dada. We don't have oh. as many. We can only, only have pick four. 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 Oh. Which one was number so four? So how, how, how do we... Because okay, play it again. One, which one was number four? Okay, play okay. it again. And when you hear it, you say, this one, we'll pause. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. Welcome to Wakanda. Welcome to Wakanda. Welcome to Wakanda. Welcome to Wakanda. Yeah. That one. That one. Mm-hmm. Okay, number three. Okay. No, that, that was number four. Okay. Number four. Oh, you did say number four. Number four, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Wakanda. Welcome to Wakanda. Wrong <laughs> movie. <laughs> I think that baby voice, Vatong. Yes. We don't expect that voice to be, you know. Mm. Mm. So I think the baby voice, okay. the, the child voice. Okay, four, five, those no. five? Uh, six, 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 yeah. yeah. Wakanda. Wak- yes. Okay, yes. seven. No, I think that was number eight. You took what, Alex? Yeah, no, because we went. We went yeah. Okay. And we got one more. Two. One more. Welcome to Wakanda. Hey, Wakanda. Welcome to Wakanda. Da, da. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Yes. okay. Yes. All right. So it's four, <laughs> six, eight, and ten. All right. That was creativity. Yay. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Oh, I have to say thanks. now, Dr. John Kani, thank, thank you, you so much for your time. I'm Connie Chume. You guys have put us on a map that we never imagined we could be part of. And it is so lovely to watch Africa being African on such a big scale like this. Oh. So congratulations. Thank you so thank you much. Guys. Thank, thank you. you. Know. And also, you're just telling us that... The, I feel like there's this obsession with being young and making it. You know, if I don't make it by 25, I'll never make it. If I don't make it by 30, I'll never make it. And here you guys are, you know, different generations. Like Oprah John comes from another generation. I come from another one. Exactly. Atandwa comes from another one. Right. So it's so representative. Indeed. You guys are doing more than you think you are. You have to go and see it. Check it out. The 947 Breakfast Club. The 947 Breakfast Club. In the morning. Monday to Friday, 6 to 9 a.m.